All right, so welcome. So what can I do for you, sir? I'm just feeling a bit stiff in um, my neck area, uh, mid-back area. Just feels a little bit um, discomfort. Um, I'm trying to see what else I can say. Um, just um, I also have the issues with my uh, wrist. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the one with my foot where I feel like my left foot is weaker than my right foot. And I, I know with the body, everything's aligned and there's like, my, this might cause like a whole domino effect throughout my whole body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's break it all down. Uh, during the consultation, we also talked about, you also went through two car accidents, mm -hmm. right? So, if it's an arm, what's been going on with the neck and the upper back? Um, it's been feeling very uh, tense and uh, stiff and um, just even like when I lay down at night, I don't really feel like I'm flat. I feel like I'm like fixated or like being curved to like one way or another. So you feel like you're rotated to one side? Yeah. Uh, you also mentioned that, uh, that uh, sometimes you need to lean back off the edge of the bed just to get some relief that way. That's mm -hmm. how you stretch it out. Yeah. So, so in other words, you're trying to like extend your neck like this way mm -hmm. and that gets you relief. What about going forward? Does that help? That actually, I feel like, makes it like more like tight when I do that. That makes it worse. Yeah. All right. What about turning your head to the right or the left? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I already see that you're, and your head's not rotated too well to the right at all. Okay. So we'll take a look. See what's going on with that fellow over there. So let's have you turn around a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then turn a little more. Okay. Go ahead. Rotate your head. And turn the other way around. All right, so this is some muscle spasms over right here. All right, and uh, all the things like right, all the things we're seeing around here, you can face towards me now. Okay. Yeah. So you also got some uh, wicked uh, eczema all over the place. Yeah. Right? How long have you been having that problem? I've had eczema ever since I was born, like since I was a minor. Since you were a little kid. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, I can see it's all over your hands, all over your arms, your legs, yeah. your knees, you know, neck. All right, and. See, what's your diet like, by the way? Um, it's very like just fatty and greasy, like just all the basically a regular like American diet. Just gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so we're gonna dial that down even more. See what we could do to help you with your neck, mm -hmm. upper back, uh, medicine is almost the hands, the feet, and also for bonus, let's see what we could do for your eczema as well. Okay, right. So join the Gaza visualization inspection. I want to take a look, see where is your structural abnormalities, meaning in terms of if there's any biomechanical misalignments, something that's unstable. I want to identify where is your muscle spasms, also where is the swelling that's trying to stabilize the region. Right? So first things first, you ready? Go ahead, turn your head to the right, to the left, okay, to the right again, and to the left. Okay, so go ahead, relax. See, all your muscles are very, very tight. Right hand side, you have a lot of swelling right here. Most on the right side, on this lower cervical region over here. So you have a lot of swelling over here in the upper back as well. And a lot of muscle tightness on the left hand side. Also on the right hand side too as well. Also got this pinny edema that sinks right here, so I'm gonna mark down the wall. So you have another pinny edema right here, at that level. And why this is crucial is because this region over here is a nerve to it, to the small intestines, right? and that can help explain this eczema issue. And you see over over here, this is all swollen. It's all baggy. It's all filled with fluid. This whole entire region over here. So there's something going on here. So we're gonna investigate what's going on with this one right here. Tender right here? Uh yeah. Right there, right? That's what I'm feeling over here. There's also a lot of swelling on this sacred iliac joint. And that's usually a good indication of a potential misalignment or subluxation that we need to address. So your right side's not too bad, but the left one it is. So we'll look at that one. Um, how's this fellow right there? Not too bad? No, not too bad. Not too bad. It is puffy though. So we'll identify see what's going on that fellow right there. See 
already said to have a reading right this low right there. So now everything's staying five points to the right until it sinks down here. So when I see something like that, most likely that's from an inferiority at that level, pitching all the nerve function to that way. See, that's not moving whatsoever. I'm going to left ilium right there. Sacrum's moving fine. Lumbar's are decent. See, right here, there's a potential trouble spot right there. How's that feeling there? Mm, yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel like a lack of mobility. Yeah. How's that fellow right there? Mm, not too great either. Yeah, it just feels stuff, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't feel great, does it? Yeah, that fellow's not happy. Nor does this. How about that fellow right there? Not too great, huh? Yeah. So now let's talk about the eczema. Okay. okay. So how does chiropractic ties in with eczema and everything else? So you explain to yourself that you know you've been having it ever since you're a little kid, mm -hmm. and you're also eating the SAD, the standard American diet. You know, a lot of them gets a lot of fast food, greasy stuff, all that stuff. So now let's start connecting all the dots over here. So now the key area where we want to focus on is this region of the nerves. And the reason why is because that fellow right there innervates to the small intestines. Mm. So why is that important? Well, because we have, in our small intestines, we have these villi, okay? And inside them, there are flight gates, okay? These little gates. And every time when we eat some food, the food particles come right between in these valleys and the body is supposed to recognize, oh, is this stuff safe to get in or keep it outside? If it's some kind of toxic chemical or some kind of toxic product, the gate's supposed to stay closed as much as possible and on top of that, the liver is also supposed to detoxify and try to keep all those foreign stuff out of the way. Now, if the stuff still somehow gets through, okay, then that's where your liver goes into, you know, gets kicked in, try to detoxify, and we're supposed to poop it out, and also the kidney's supposed to filter, and we'll pee it out. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, and we still have all these foreign chemicals that's not supposed to belong in the body, then two other things can happen. The body's gonna try to lock it up in fat to try to protect itself, okay, basically like cording it off, make it like a little tube for that fella, or well, another thing is your body's also trying to sweat it out, mm. right? So therefore, that's why it's common to see within psoriasis patients and also with eczema patients, that kind of skin problem, mm. okay? Now, that's one component where chiropractic comes into play is that these gates are controlled by the nerves. So if we have some kind of nerve dysfunction where the body's not communicating properly to these gates, then guess what happened? these gates could be much more wider open than it should be and pretty much letting almost everything in there, right? So we want to try to restore more nerve function. I says, hey guys, let's try to keep the gate, you know, a little more, you know, more, a little more narrow and try not to let everyone in, you know, into the place, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do for that one. 
This component of that is that as your body starts healing, then we're also gonna take a look, see what's going on with your diet. We're gonna give you some dietary recommendations. Try to shift you off. Cause bottom line is this, I'm trying to bail the ship out, mm -hmm. but if we're only doing with a bucket, and the problem is, there's a lot more water coming into the ship. There's only so much we can do. So therefore, we're gonna take a look at your diet, see what kind of foreign chemicals you're introducing in there. And on top of that, a special type of probiotic, not just any probiotic, but a special type to try to plug up all these holes in, in all these villas over here. Gotcha. All right, let's get to the next part. Okay, so now let's go down to this. So clearly we have problems rotating the head, yeah. upper back pain from all those car accidents where you just got T-bone you know, twice. Now that's fun. We also got an eczema. And we also got the, the feet problems and the head problems as well. So taking a look at the neck over here, this one's easy to see. It's like, okay, we got this one heck of a kink. And that's as I twist it like this. When I take a look over here, it says, okay, we also got one kind of, one heck of a swollen disc over here as well. Mm -hmm. And we verified on you, yeah, this is not happy at all. So therefore, what's causing this kind of twist? Basically what's going on is this, okay, if I keep on twisting this paper towel, this direction, what's gonna happen to the paper itself? Eventually, it's gonna start twisting over to the right-hand side over here, okay? So therefore, Let's try, start tracing it down. Where is the twist really coming from? Kind of twist, twist, and it leads me all the way straight down to here. Okay. So looking down the pelvis, then I'm saying, "Oh, well, that's interesting. We got this line way off to the left. Okay. This is taller over here. So that and also sinking down a bit. So this is what's interesting. That hmm, okay, your body already saying it says, okay, it's rotated this way and went this way. So it's kind of hard to walk this way." Yeah. But the curveball what we got going on is this, it's actually sticking down this way. Mm. Normal, what's biomechanically what I'm expecting is that if this thing goes rotated this way and back this way, you really should be sticking down this way. Instead, you're sticking down this direction instead. What's causing that? Well, you may have some structural misalignments in the feet. Another plausible explanation is that you may have an anatomical short left, I'm sorry, an anatomical short right leg. Okay. That could help explain that discrepancy. So therefore, since we found an examination that this is the one we need to address, if we, that when this does get adjusted, I'm gonna let you know, you're gonna sink even more this way. Okay. All right? That's what I'm expecting on that one. All right. So therefore, we may need to give you a heel lift on a future visit. I'm not guaranteeing it, but mm -hmm. I want to observe and keep an eye on how your spot, how your spine and your body is adapting to all the structural changes we're making. And we, like I said, we may need to give a heel lift on that one to try to like re-upright it. Otherwise, it's gonna be a losing battle, always look like this, right? So therefore, let's go and take a look at that one. Okay. I'm tracing upwards and yeah, we got this 11 dorsal, it's, it is tilted that way. Same thing I see on the lateral, it's, that this is swollen over there as well. So that's a potential candidate. But this may actually go away after we adjust this left hip. That's six dorsal. Okay, that's clearly that's inferior over there on the lateral. The second dorsal vertebrae, that's also swollen over here. And that's also to help explain we had that shoulder and upper back, all that problems. And this fellow over here, yeah, we almost got to address that one as well. All right. Okay. Okay, Rex is over here. Okay, walk around, sir. Wow. Felt that expand and release. Okay. Anything else? Um. Now I'm feeling something shift on my left side. Mm -hmm. It's not pain or none. I think it's just like my body just trying to adapt to the, after the adaption mm -hmm. that you made. Any other changes you notice? Um, none that I, I can realize right now, no. Okay. Next question is this. How's the itchiness right now? Right now, I don't really feel any itchy. You also mentioned before you felt some itchiness on your knees, correct? Mm -hmm. How's that, how's the knees right now? Pretty relaxed. Pretty relaxed. All right, well, that's a good, interesting start. Let's get to the next. Hmm, that sort of figure. See, it, it kind of went away. 
Okay, so we don't have to adjust that fella. But this, this needs an adjustment. Here's the hazard for your already. There we go. Just a little more in. Boom. Just drop the shoulder. Let him. I feel so much like relief off those adjustments. Oh. Try turning the head to the right now. See how that's all about. Oh yeah, I see now. Yeah, now it, it definitely feels better. So what's going on the wrist again? Uh, they just feel a bit um like clunky. Um, I do have more pain. Well, I wouldn't really say pain, but just um, I always thought I had like weak wrists throughout my life. Mm -hmm. Um, my left one I feel like is definitely more noticeably weaker than the right. The right one feels um, a bit more stronger and sturdier. Mm -hmm. This one clicks way more than it does with the right one. I want you to go ahead and squeeze that as hard as you can. Okay, go ahead, relax. Okay, nice. Go ahead, do that one. Now you're right, so that one's about 240 pounds. And this one is about 200. Yeah, see, I want to see like a rainbow arc. Okay, and that one is definitely out. Okay, let's check that out. Yeah, elbow's fine. Radius is slightly out, but it's a lunate. Lunate's definitely out. Okay, let's set this fella right here. Let it go. There's that fella. Okay, your thumb's out. Right there as well. There's that fella. Now let's check your right one. Check the elbows. Really slightly out. And same so with this one. This is also like that one, mm -hmm. illuminate. Mm -hmm. This is my feeling as well. Can't super impone it too well with this fella. So there's that. There's that thumb as well. Okay, now I'll give it a try. See how I like the wrist. Yeah, it feels more fluid. I'm even hearing like a little bit of clicking in the right, so. Good. Alright, why don't you try the left one? Just go ahead and squeeze that as hard as you can. Okay. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. So it's about 210. Okay. Okay, so we're getting there. So that tells me that no, we gotta do some more work on your neck. Cause if, if there's some kind of nerve dysfunction here, like a traffic jam, not much nerve is going to go right down to here and you won't have enough power to try to squeeze this fellow over here, okay? So that's going to be a work in progress. Okay, so bring it to speed. What's going on with the left foot then? Uh, the left foot, basically, I just feel like my arch is more like collapsed than it is with the right one. Uh-huh. Let me um, see. The, oh, oh, okay. Let's turn yourself so I can have better lighting. Okay, so say again, what's going on with the arches? Uh, the left one, I just feel that my left arch is more collapsed than the right one. I could put more weight on the right easily, but uh -huh. I can't really do the same with my left one. It's slightly collapsed over here, but it's more towards on the inside of it. So it feels like your transfer, yep, your transfer arch is collapsed over here. Because when I go a little deeper inside, I can feel it. Mm. And your second cuneiform and everything else below, and also the metatarsals in that region over there, yeah, it's it's more collapsed, and because this transverse arch is collapsed, so even your lateral arch is collapsed because it's bulging out. So you get, let's approximate your feet together like this. See, so this one I'm seeing over here. See, this is nice and smooth over here. See, this is bulging out. So when it bulges out like this, lateral arch collapse, and that tells me no, even the cuboid is out as well. And I also see even your toes are splayed out. So that that's another indication the transverse arch also collapsed. See both taluses are out. I'm gonna work on this first. There's that fella. This arch is also slightly out. Let's work with this. There's that one. Okay, all of a sudden you got a lot of motion on here. Get a little more stability here. A little more. There's 
that fella. Now it's moving. How's this fella right there? Mm, just feels tender. Tender, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This joint capsule right here, and that second cuneiform is out. And it's swollen. So we're gonna pump this up first before we set this. A little more. Get a little more out of it. Small little piece. We're gonna get this vector right. There it is. Slightly out on this one too. Oh, there it goes. There's the other piece. All right, walk around. So you like that, ball. feeling right now? All the arches. Oh, uh, they feel pretty neutral. And that's what I'm seeing here right now. It looks like your lateral arches, this is not as bulging out as much. That's good. Transverse arch is holding better. So I can stick more of my finger underneath here. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a good promise right there. This is not splitting out as much. See, this is now we start to have a little flexion on this toe over here and this one here as well. This one's still slightly splayed, a little flexion in there, but no, this is a very good promise. All right. Last part, TMJ. Oh. So put me in. What's going on with that TMJ now? Um, it's like my left side. I notice sometimes it'll like pop or click mm -hmm. when like either like when I open it or sometimes I'll feel like I just need to like stretch it out more so like on this side just to like relieve it. Gotcha. All right. Go ahead, open, close, open, close. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Okay, this needs to open, close, open, close, open, no, no, too fast, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, there you go, open. I notice normally when I do that, it would pop or click, like like to this side, and it's not doing that no more. Nice. Mhm. Mm okay. Anything else? No, but pretty much it. I feel like you took care of everything about that I could think of that I needed to like be looked at. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank okay, you. you're all set, sir. I'll see you next time. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Nice you're to welcome. meet you.